Hello, this is Daniel from MA Tech Support. Welcome to our GrandMA 3 Tips and Tricks video. Today let's talk about the placement of the buttons for the fixture selection, so the next and the previous button for example, which are placed next to the dual encoders now. We've got the question a few times now, why the buttons which has to do with the fixture selection, especially previous, next or the set buttons, are not placed in the bottom right corner where we are used to this from GrandMA 2. The reason is that we have restructured the whole button layout a little bit to create logical blocks of buttons. And one logical block is especially this one with the set, previous and next button, as well as the up and down button and the self-fix button. So all buttons which have to do with the fixture selection. They are placed right next to the dual encoders. That has the advantage that when you're working with a fixture selection, you can use the left hand to navigate in your fixture selection, so to press next, previous, set and so on. And the right hand you can use to adjust your values via the dual encoders. So this gives you the possibility to especially work very fast when you're adjusting or creating presets like positions or colors. The up and down buttons have a new function in GrandMA 3 software. The structure of fixture selection is a real tree structure in our whole fixture sheet. So that means especially when we are dealing with subfixtures and different levels of subfixtures, we can use this tree structure very good. So we can use the up and down key to navigate in the different levels of subfixtures. That makes the selection of subfixtures and the different levels of subfixtures very fast and easy. <laughs> 